Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media. Today I'll be chatting with Dr. Francis Dupe. He is CEO and Director of Zen Graphene. Uh, Francis, how are you? Doing very well, Fiona. Pleasure to be here with you. Uh, well, thank you for joining us. Uh, first and foremost, tell us a little bit about Zen Graphene, the company and the team that you have behind you. Would love to do that. Zen Graphene was born out of the Albany uh, deposit. It's a very unique graphite deposit in Northern Ontario. We're uh, fairly close to the Trans Canada Highway, so great infrastructure. But the key thing for us there is that this graphite has really been uh, demonstrated to be a, a material in a class of its own to convert to graphene. Uh, we've compared it to multiple other graphites uh, around the world, whether it's Israel, uh, in England, where graphene was basically born, uh, Japan, everywhere we've, we've worked with, they've actually been able to uh, confirm that our graphite is the best to make graphene products with. So we've used that uh, as our launching pad to uh, enter the graphene space. We're actually in working now with a lot of different researchers across Canada, especially, but some in other uh, countries as well, um, to build a lot of science around this material and really build a strong company with a, a focus on IP development and on a unique source of carbon material. Well, let's dive into that a little bit more. For those who don't know, uh, what exactly is graphene and why is it so exciting to you? Well, graphene is revolutionary. I mean, it was discovered in 2004. Uh, the guys that got the discovery got the Nobel Prize in physics in 2010 for it. And it's really sort of taken off from there. Uh, it's a unique material, sort of the new steel or the new plastic you uh, end up having to add this to other materials to make them better. Now, because of the intrinsic qualities of graphene, it is 200 times stronger than steel, has a thousand times the capacity of copper, conducts heat better than diamond. So it's got phenomenal attributes. And when you add them to other materials, these other materials can take on some of these properties. And you're really creating new uh, materials that are nan nanoscience based um, that can really change material science out there, whether you're looking at uh, the automotive industry, uh, aerospace, defense industry. Um, these are big industries that require a lot of different materials, material innovations, and uh, graphene is really at the center of a lot of these innovations. Very exciting stuff. Uh, what other projects are you working on at, uh, at Zen? Well, COVID-19 right now obviously is a big one. Uh, we've got a couple of things that we're working on there. The one that we've talked about the most is using our graphene, uh, doping it as they call it, or decorating the graphene oxide with uh, silver nanoparticles. And then these silver nanoparticles combined with the graphene oxide act to uh, kill the covid 19 virus and other viruses of course and bacteria. so we're really working hard on that one we're working with the impact facility in um, at western ontario university and uh, getting it tested directly on covid 19 and we've had one set of results we've jumped right into a second round of testing with them and uh, we're, we're really uh, trying to push that along as fast as we can and the goal would be to uh, have an ink here that could be applied to masks, uh, other PPE equipment, uh, and potentially other um, things like paints and surfaces uh, to help uh, the fight against the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So that's our, our number one focus right now. Uh, another program that's interesting is the one with uh, the Department of National Defense. Uh, we got a contract with them a few weeks ago that we announced. It was a $200,000 a contract with them and UBCO to use our graphene, graphene oxide to help develop a new polymer uh, that could be used uh, on uh, satellites to help shield the satellites. Now this technology is something that could have wide applications again in the automotive space and the uh, DND space. So we're really excited by that. The funding mechanism there is quite unique in Canada at least. Uh, it's a $200,000 uh, contract to start with to get to a proof of concept. Uh, 
If that's successful, then there's a million dollar contract to bring up to a, uh, a prototype situation. And then if that's successful, they would actually uh, award up to a $20 million to bring this to a commercially viable product. So we're really exciting, excited to work with the Department of National Defense. And uh, this is a great funding mechanism for us moving forward here. Sounds like you've got some exciting things uh, on deck, and let's talk to investors. Why Zen Graphene? Well, again, it comes down to the material. We really have an advantage in the graphene space based on our unique material. Uh, we got uh, about six tons of it ahead of us because we did a bulk sample um, a year and a half ago now. Uh, that material there, if uh, our ink is successful and we could enter the, the, the mass or the PPE space, we'd have enough material to sort of go to commercial uh, production uh, fairly quickly and, and bring some of this technology uh, to Canadians very quickly here. So um, that's one of the things that uh, we're really excited about. Um, again, that's number one priority with what's going on with COVID. But we have, uh, you know, a dozen or more um, pokers in the fire, if you want to call them that, a lot of different applications that we're looking at, uh, scaling up our abilities to make more graphene, graphene oxide products. Um, there's interest from government, there's interest from end users. Graphene is really sort of the, the beginning to be a big story now. You're starting to hear it more often. If you look at golf tournaments, uh, they're not nothing really going on there right now, but uh, golf ball Callaway now is using graphene in their golf balls. Uh, if you watch tennis, tennis rackets now have started to embed graphene in their rackets. Ford is using graphene. So we're starting to see a real uh, shift towards graphene in industrial applications here. So uh, I think we're really at the right time, the right place, the right unique material to have an advantage in the space and working with a lot of universities to really develop the material and develop applications uh, where we can own some IP and do some extraordinary things with it. And uh, what's next for Zen Graphene? I mean, you've got a lot on the go, but what is next in the short term? We're in the middle of a raise right now. We're putting some money together to help accelerate some of the things we're working on. Uh, that's number one. Uh, we've got some news coming up on some new developments, some new partnerships that we're working on that we'll be able to announce. Uh, we've worked with uh, different government uh, groups that can fund some of our innovations. So uh, we're pretty excited by some of that stuff, and we can't wait to uh, sort of report that to our shareholders here in the next few weeks. Anything else you want to tell our audience before we go? Stay tuned. There's definitely <laughs> a lot going on at Zen Graphene right now. Well, we can't wait to check in with you again, Francis, and find out what uh, the next piece of news will be for Zen Graphene. Uh, if you want to find out more about the company, you can just go to their website. It is zengraphene.com. Thank you so much for joining us today, Francis. Thanks, Fiona. Much appreciate this. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.